Hey, Mrs. Isis Class, it is your favorite scientist, Mr. Bateman, and I am up here behind Quest. We are at the West Branch of Salmon Creek. I know you guys know this, uh, this body of water because you've been with me uh, to here a few times, but I want to show you guys really what's living in this water because it's a whole ecosystem of itself and has its own unique animals in there. Uh, and by looking at the animals, they'll be able to tell me a lot about this stream. Um, so before I actually go through identifying you and telling you uh, who's who, I want to show you how you can collect them because this is something you can do. You don't need to have a big fancy net like I do. If you have any kind of net and you got an old pair of sneakers, you can come up here with your parents and do this by yourselves. All you got to do is look which way the water is flowing. In this case, the water is going down that way. And I put my net out in front of me. And all you do is pick around the rocks. What happens is the insects uh, in that that are living underneath these rocks, um, they get caught in the current and they make their way into the net. And you do this for a little bit. And then you can put what you find in a bucket. All right, kids, I'm back. And I have been working on sorting uh, what I've caught for probably like the t past 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I'm sure you all will get a kick out of oh, I'm finding here. this guy. And I know you've seen me put him on my ear before, <laughs> but I want to talk about this crayfish and um, how in some ways they're kind of like people. Um, in that if I have a, a baby crayfish, a young one, which I caught in here too, I want you to see how similar they look. So check out this baby crayfish compared to the adult. So kind of like people, where babies look like miniature versions of the adults. And this is true for uh, reptiles, so like baby snakes and turtles, um, birds. Even though they don't have all the feathers that the adult has, they look very much uh, like the adult does. Um, but I have also have some critters in here who I caught who look nothing like what they're going to look like when they are adults. Um, remember you can tell your parents if you go out for the crayfish that when you catch these guys it's kind of like if you go to the ocean and if you get a seashell and you put it up to your ear you can hear what the ocean sounds like if your parents put the crayfish up to their ear they'll, then you'll get to hear what it sounds like to get attacked by a crayfish all right so I want to show you what else I caught here so one of the cool things is I've got some fish eggs so they are in this cube here, and these are from suckers. I think they're pretty neat. Another one that I wanna show you are the mayflies. So does that look anything like a fly to you? I'm guessing you're gonna say no, right? Where are their wings? Things like that. Um, but let me see if I can get the reflection out of here. You can see how active they are. Um, these guys need a whole lot of oxygen in order to survive. So um, by finding these guys in this creek, I can tell that this creek is actually really healthy. It's a good sign. Um, another one in here, this guy is called a water snipe fly. Once again, to me, looks nothing like a fly. But when it is an adult, it will have wings, legs, uh, and will be able to fly around. And same thing, at the very top of the screen on this guy you can see his gills. So similar to a fish, this guy's getting his oxygen um, from the water uh, with that little fan-like structure at the top. Other things that I found in here, leeches. So similar to worms, that leech as a young one is going to look like an adult would. Get that stick out of there. Found a snail. So look in the stream, how many things in here where the babies look like the adult, like the snail, like the leech, or like the crayfish. But then I've got all these flies in here. And more over here, I even have some mosquitoes. Um, baby mosquitoes, that's what they look like. So the other thing I want to talk about is how long they spend their life like that. So when we think about humans, you're not a baby for very long, right? For a few years and then you're a toddler and then a teenager. Most of your life you're gonna spend as an adult. 
Um, that's not true for all the animals out there. The adult phase isn't necessarily, or the adult stage of your life, isn't the one you spend the most time in. So some of these critters that I caught in here, um, the mayfly, for example, um, when it becomes an adult, it doesn't even have a mouth. It doesn't eat. It's alive for less than a day. But it's going to spend a few years as that nymph that I showed you. So kind of in terms of its age, it's going to spend most of its life as like a baby. And when it metamorphs, when it changes and becomes an adult, it doesn't stay like that for very long. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will give Mrs. Heiss um, a couple pages that if you guys decide you want to come out here and do this, you can learn how to tell what a mayfly is and what a water snipe fly looks like and some of the other things that you'll find in this stream. So like I said, all you need is a little inspiration to get outside. Uh, you need a net, a bucket, and you will become experts at what lives in the stream.